Okay, what I wanted to discuss here is the balance of the air conditioner. When I speak of balance, I'm talking about the balance of where the refrigerant is. Uh, we oftentimes say you have to run the machine for 15 minutes, some say 10, before it'll settle down. Okay, that's because the refrigerant, when the unit is off, it just becomes, the, the entire unit becomes a cylinder that contains a saturated mix of liquid and gas. Okay, it goes to different places. It may go to the compressor. The compressor has oil in it. The oil and the refrigerant have an affinity for each other, meaning they like each other and the refrigerant will naturally kind of go to the oil. We'll usually put some kind of crankcase heater or something in there to drive it out because it warms it up. That also brings up cold. When a unit's off, the, ref the liquid refrigerant migrates to the coldest spot. If it's a heat pump, it probably has an accumulator and oftentimes the refrigerant will go to the accumulator in the off cycle. So once this machine starts up, it has to pull the refrigerants from all the places it's gone in the off cycle to the places it needs to be in the system. Okay, you're going to pump hot gas into the condenser. The condenser is going to condense the refrigerant and it's going to subcool it. So there's just going to be different amounts of subcool, which means there's different amounts of refrigerant in the condenser. So as the condenser starts to fill with liquid refrigerant, uh, the refrigerant passes through the liquid line through the expansion device and goes into the evaporator. Well, if the evaporator, you know, is a low temperature or well, low pressure. If the evaporator is a low pressure, then of course it's going to pull liquid refrigerant out of the condenser. And then it's going to be an expanding uh, gas and liquid refrigerant mix in the evaporator and it's going to uh, superheat and go back to the compressor and go back around again. So the amount of refrigerant that's in the evaporator and the amount of refrigerant that's in the condenser and accumulator and so on all has to kind of balance out and it takes a while for this to happen if you cycle an air conditioner on for five minutes and then shut it off it probably never was running very efficiently because the superheat won't be right the subcool won't be right there won't be enough refrigerant in the right places. So I'm going to start this machine up and we will watch what happens and I'll try to explain. Okay, my machine is now running. You saw what the uh, saturated temperature pressure was on the gauge. And now that's changing. And let's look at what's happening. Uh, obviously the suction's going down, it's below what it would normally be, and we have a fairly high superheat. It's coming down. Okay, the high uh, head pressure is going up, and the subcool is lower than it normally would be. So it's not in the right place either. So let's just watch this for a minute, and let's see what happens. Now you should normally, you should see the head pressure slowly climb, the suction pressure slowly climb, the superheat drop, subcool increase. Right now we're into it about a minute and let's see how it does. Okay, now we're about three minutes in. Uh, head pressure's up a bit, subcool's up a bit. Uh, Superheat, yeah, I don't know, it's still quite a ways off. Uh, 
I'm going to go ahead and calculate a target superheat so we can uh, have something to go by. Okay, we're about four minutes in. Looks like our subcool settled down pretty well. Probably end up a little bit higher than that. Uh, superheat uh, still got a little ways to go. We got a target superheat of 22.5. We're into this thing about six minutes. Uh, Subcool's getting pretty close to normal. Uh, suction pressure's still a bit low. Uh, superheat's a little bit high, and uh, we got a target superheat of 22.5. So we're still not there. Okay, we're about nine minutes into this thing, and uh, you know, sub cool, yeah, pretty close. Uh, Superheat, still a little bit high. Uh, it should be within three degrees of that 22.5. We'll see how it comes out. Suction pressure is going up a little bit. Our ambient here is not real high. The ambient is 73 degrees. Okay, we're into this thing about 11 minutes now. And you can see, you know, my head pressure is about right. Subcool is about normal for this machine. Uh, 62.9, which is probably not too far off of the 73 degree return air. Uh, and uh, we're real close on our superheat. We're showing 23.5. Uh, that's at 11 minutes. I'll give it a couple more minutes and see if it drops much lower. And uh, we'll call this thing good. Okay, I'm at 12 minutes now. And it's just kind of bouncing around a little bit. It's pretty well settled. So it took between 10 and 12 minutes for this thing to settle. If you have uh, extreme temperature differences between inside and outside, either hot or cold, um, it may take longer. That's why they give you the 15 minutes. But uh, it took a good 10, 12 minutes for this thing to settle down. So that's now it's balanced. We have a certain amount of subcool. We have. Uh, the correct superheat so we have the right amount of refrigerant in the condenser the right amount in the evaporator for this thing to operate normally so that is how the balance works in the air conditioner I'll do one in the future about how they can get out of balance and what happens uh, to make them out of balance